Okay, so what's up, y'all? Uh, back with apparel here. Okay, so before we get started, there is like a there is two pairs that are a few pairs I didn't include because uh, uh, two pairs uh, I have out yonder at my uh, grandma's house because we we use those as work boots out there. So that's why I didn't show those in this in, in this video because they're out there. And um, those ones I was you know uh, you know I did the clean used boots video. <coughs> um, that one, uh, though, that, that pair, I, I ain't, I didn't, I ain't gonna show either, cause those I actually might have, I bought those used, so, I don't know where they're very much either way, so, and uh, the lace up boots I have, which I did show on my old collection video I did on my other channel years ago, and, uh, I didn't, I ain't showed those because they're made actually cowboy boots, so, uh, these are, I'm showing strictly cowboy boots that I wear, and, you know, that I use. Okay, so let's get started with the very first pair. Okay, first up, my damn post work boots. Now, these work boots, I got my 10th grade year of high school and uh, I ended up getting a replacement uh, everyday wear pair, so I started using these as work boots, as you can see. So I use them to do yard work, work on stuff, you know, cutting grass, getting leaves up, all kind of stuff. So these are now my primary work boots. So uh, I use that here. I got another pair kit at my grandma's house, but these are my primary ones. Okay, my area at Patriot boots. Now these are my everyday wear boots. I got these at my 10th grade high school. High school. So they have rubber outsole. And uh, I use these for my everyday use, like just going town, doing stuff like that. And these carry me through most of high school and one of my boat's best pair of boots I have. Now onto my dress boots. These are my Justins. Now these are the only dress boots that are distinguishable by a rubber outsole. And these are good for when it's raining and, you know, I can't wear exotic or hard soles. So these are a good alternative for, you know, rainy, nasty weather. You know, keep, they, rubber soles have better grip and they keep you up right during rainy days. Okay, now for my black boots. And I don't know what brand these are because they're just good to me. A good friend. Now these are uh, the only black pair of boots that I have. And they're good for things like funerals and weddings where they wear all black and stuff. You know, because I ain't a person that likes wearing dress shoes. So they're a good alternative for stuff. Okay, now for my Tony Llamas. Now these... Best time to me about my daddy because he has to wear a different type now. Now these are a prime example of how rubber boots will last you for a very long time if you take care of them. So now for my Cowtown Python snakeskin boots. Now these boots are my only pair of exotic boots I have currently right now. I'll probably end up getting another pair, but this is what I got for now. And these are very nice. I don't wear them very often because I don't want to wear them out. And uh, yeah, because yeah, they're so nice. And they, they were the most expensive boot that I own as well they were 240 dollars i think which is actually cheap for snake in boots okay so i hope uh y'all like this video showing off all my uh main pairs of cowboy boots so i might get to do a review on but uh, i'll get around to it my work boots i guess i got a good uh review plan for those so i'm gonna do like an extended test for those too i'm gonna show you doing some work in them and stuff like that so when i get around to doing that i'll Okay, that, that, I have a feeling that was gonna be pretty good. So, um, so if you like like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. That helped me out a lot. And uh, subscribe uh, to the Backwoods Apparel. I'll see y'all next video.